Take a look at all these images. All of them were created using AI. All these layouts is something that you would regularly see online when you're looking at any typical website. But there's only one specific difference, that a human did not create them. In this video, we're gonna talk about the new trend of AI in web design, why it matters, and most importantly, will it affect you personally? Let's get into it. So most of these images were created with something called Midjourney. The way Midjourney works is through a Discord channel. So users can type in a brief and the AI will generate an image out of nothing, essentially out of thin air. And these are some of the prompts that I've done myself and we're gonna get into them and I'm even trying to see if it knows what I look like, but we'll get into that later. But AI is incredible. And in some of these cases, like for example, if I give it the prompt of a website for a company that wants to make sure they're the best company in the world, right? Something that makes almost no sense at all. It has a good idea of what something like that would look like. Now that takes care of the imagery side of things. There's an AI that can produce and create images that you can then place on your website. But what do you do about the actual content, the meat and bones of any SEO ranking website? Well, for that, we have something called ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT is a word that's been coming up a lot and a lot on Webflow, on forums, all over the internet, Twitter especially. And what ChatGPT does is it essentially allows you to talk to an AI. So in this case, I've given it the prompt, just as we would with the Discord, with Midjourney, I've given it the prompt outline for a website. And when we create that prompt, it essentially shows us that outline. So in this case, what I wanted was an outline for a homepage, but it saw it as outline for a website. So it says, sure, here's general outline for a website, homepage about us products. And it explains a little bit about what you need in every single page. Now I narrow this down to something like outline for a homepage, and then it narrowed it down as well. It said, okay, we want a header, a hero image, introduction, features, benefits, testimonials. And this is stuff that I would tell you guys that you need to add to your website, to your homepage. But this is a chat GPT. This is AI telling you exactly what you need to have on your website. And the more specific that you get, the more specific results you are going to achieve. But how can we use this to our benefit? Why does any of this even matter? Now, if you guys remember this prompt, that I created here. It was for a website for a company that prioritizes luxury cruise ships around the world. So I've been able to gather this image and I wanna create something out of this AI content to show you guys exactly how you can use AI for your benefit as a freelance designer in 2023, 24, 25, whatever year we're in right now, this is gonna be helpful for you. So we have these four images and I've decided to go ahead with the top right one here. So I've just upscaled that image. And from then this image, we can then place it into something like Figma, like Sketch, like Adobe, anything that you want to use in this case. But for now, it's totally fine. So what I want to do here is create something out of this content. Now, AI can obviously create great images, but as we can see that they're not 100% there yet, right? The cruise ship here is a little bit almost like wiggly, right? It doesn't really make too much sense what, what we see here. Uh, some of the windows don't make sense. It's not very defined. Now, this will only improve with time as the software improves, as the images that you give it are more specific as well. But with that being said, let's go ahead and create a layout with this. So we have this image right here and I wanna go ahead and create just a quick desktop and we can just drag it in right here. Now, I'm just going to scale this up so that we can see what this would look like next to the fold or behind the fold. So now we see that, okay, we have all this great content here in the bottom, but it doesn't exactly fit perfectly within the fold. Now, one thing to keep in mind with the rest of these images here that we did take a look at before is that, okay, it does know how to create this kind of composition, how to create this incredible artwork, but it's not super duper specific, right? The images themselves are lacking a little bit of detail. The words themselves are completely nonsensical. It doesn't really make any sense, but the layout themselves starts to make a little bit of sense. If we take a look at this one here, we've got the cruise ship on the bottom, some text on the top. It looks like some nav material up there and then here or this this one's one of my favorites actually we have the cruise ship which looks very defined it looks like it's somewhere in the nordic seas or something like that we've got for about texts button button so this looks very high quality but it's obviously missing that that definition right so if we wanted to grab this image here and say okay we have this as our background as our hero header how do we go ahead and improve this for a client or for ourselves if this is our company right well i wanted to go ahead and use chat gpt for that so I asked it, create a hero header text for a luxury cruise ship company. So it gave me a couple of different ideas here. So we have these five ideas. And if I want to, I can go ahead and say, okay, hero header for a luxury cruise ship company uh, that emphasizes 
destinations, something like that. And as you can see, it'll start to type out exactly what we asked it to experience the world's most exotic destinations aboard a luxury cruise ship or another example here. So for now, we can go ahead and take this here and let's just use this for now. We can go ahead and plug it into our Figma. And what I'm going to do here is block out this piece of text here, or I'm not even going to call it a piece of text, but because it doesn't look like anything, but we can go ahead and just like that and we can paste this in here. So we can start to see that even just by improving the copy itself and putting real copy in here, it starts to look more realistic. And I'm just gonna pick a maybe a white or this darker looks a bit better. So now let's go ahead and add some buttons here because this almost looks more like a poster than an H1. So we can add maybe some buttons here on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some sort of gradient so that we can protect our buttons here. Just gonna reverse these like that and that's fine for now so let me go ahead and say something like explore destinations using auto layout here of course and something like buy tickets now so maybe buy tickets now can become our h or our first first button here and i'm just gonna go ahead and use maybe this and we can do the same here or maybe some blue from the water something like that Okay, so I've gone ahead and created these two buttons here so that we can see what this looks like. But if we go ahead and expand the fold, we can see that, okay, there's there's obviously something wrong here. So we can expand this or we can get rid of it or we can play around with, instead of having a linear gradient, we could do something like a radial one, reduce those, and we can do something like, something like that. You know, just so we have a little bit of a backdrop to the buttons. So we can see that we now have a decent H1. We've got our buttons here, which are auto layout and honestly a very impressive backdrop for our hero header. Now I can very easily imagine this website continuing with this dark theme just like this and it slowly starts to explain more about the destinations. It starts to explain a little bit about the benefits, the prices maybe, and that can very easily be done as well with ChatGPT. So maybe I say something like, prices for luxury cruise ships, something like that. And it'll slowly start to explain different prices, different experiences, things like that. So let's go ahead and just copy this first part here and we can use the same text, make it our something like that. Now, in the case of what we have here, we probably wouldn't want prices to be this big paragraph, but for the sake of the example, I feel like it does make a decent amount of sense here. So what we have now is the website that has been fully created by AI. We have the backdrop that is cruise ship. We have the H1 that was created by ChatGPT, the buttons, which were created by me, which I'm also a robot. Uh, we have the prices that was also created by ChatGPT. So what we have here is a tool that can really, really help you create a better process and system for the websites that you are creating. So in what case would you use something like Midjourney or ChatGPT or anything like that. Well, you have to take into account that speed is the name of the game with using these tools. If a client comes to you and he says, okay, I want more examples of luxury cruise ship websites, or I want more examples of supermarket websites or whatever it happens to be, you can use something like Midjourney, something like OpenAI to develop these inspiration boards. Now, if we use the example of something like luxury cruise ships or something like that, we can see that in Dribbble, we might get some great examples, but it's hard to really pinpoint exactly what we're looking for. Whereas with the luxury cruise ship brief that we can give ChatGPT or OpenAI or Midjourney, we can see that we get a lot more specific examples like these here. And in my opinion, these examples that were given to us are better than the ones that we find in Dribbble. So if we see here the examples that we can see for Dribbble, I mean, they are great, don't get me wrong, but they don't compare to the kind of dramaticness that the Midjourney designs are giving us. So in my opinion, if we take a look at this design that we have here, what you need to take back from this video is that the technology isn't necessarily there yet where it's going to take over your job or it's going to do any of that, but it's in a great place where you can use it for inspiration, for creativity, and you can have a blank canvas and understand exactly what it is that you need to design. One last thing to keep in mind with these AI technologies that are coming out is that the world is always going to be advancing with new technologies, new ways of doing things. And 
it's at a point where if you don't evolve with the technologies that are developing and coming out, then you will be left behind. It's very similar to when the computers started coming out and social media started coming out and the older generation feels left behind with that. Well, it's going to be a very similar situation with us if we don't take this technology seriously. So that is my only recommendation to designers who are using AI or not using AI. Take a look at it. It's free. All the links are in the description and I recommend that you just play around with it. Try to see what you can come up with mid journey with the chat GPT and you see where it takes you. If you guys enjoyed this kind of video or any other video that I've created before, please do leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on the next one.